Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Classic trick for you question. Today we are going to figure out the value for sine of 72 degrees. And yes, there are different ways to do this, but today we have to follow the direction. The question gives us that sine of 5 theta is equal to this right here, and we have five options. Of course, we have to choose the answer from here. And this question is from the Oxford University Math Admission Test in the year of 2022. So you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first before you watch the solution. Done? All right, here we go. Notice here we have sine theta, sine theta, sine theta, and we want sine of 72 degrees. So a natural way is go ahead and just let theta equals 72 to begin with. Plug in. On the left hand side, we see that we get sine of 5 times 72 and that will give us sine of 360 degrees and that is equal to 0 because 360 is on the x-axis and if we put 72 degrees into all these data here then we get exactly what we are looking for and for simplicity purpose let's call this x so we begin with 0 and then we will have 5 sine of 72 which is now just the x and then continue minus 20 x to the third power and then plus 16 x to the fifth power so we end up with a fifth degree <laughs> equation how many solutions are we going to get possibly five real solutions right well the hard part is sine of 72 degrees is only one value so we are just going to focus on solving this equation and then at the end we have to decide which value is for sine of 72 degrees firstly though we see that sine of 72 degrees it cannot be equal to zero so of course let me just denote that right here and we can just divide everybody here by x and let me write this down right here first 16 x to the fourth power, but I will purposely write it as x squared, squared, because the next term is minus 20, and then x squared, and then this right here is just plus 5, and that's equal to 0. So we have an equation in the quadratic form, and here the input is x squared. And we can solve this by using the quadratic formula. Unfortunately, this is not factorable. So x squared equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a and now we just have to simplify this so we have x squared equals 20 plus or minus negative 20 squared is 400 4 times 5 is 20 times 16 is 320 so 400 minus 16 is equal to 80 so that's the number instead of the square root and then here we have 2 times 16 which is 32 and 80 we can break it down as 16 times 5 so this is the same as 20 plus or minus let's do square root of 16 times square root of 5 over 32 and then I will just put this down right here so we get x squared equals 20 and then we have plus or minus that is going to be a regular 4 and then square root of 5 all over 32 now on the top we can factor out 4 so we get 5 plus square root of 5 and also the minus here and then we can reduce this 1 and 8 so this is x squared equals 5 plus or minus square root of 5 over 8. Then finally, just take the square roots on both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus. So we get x equals plus or minus the big square root of 5 plus or minus the small square root over 8. But here we have four values 
which one is for sine of 72? Well, we know 72 degrees is in the first quadrant, so let me give you guys a picture real quick. So let's say, look something like this, 72 degrees. So of course the y value here is positive, that means sine value is going to be positive, that means this right here cannot be negative. So we can get rid of that, good. But if you look at the inside, because square root of 5 is less than 5, so when you do the plus, you get a positive result. And when you do the 5 minus square root of 5, and then divided by a square root of that, still a positive result. So which one do we get rid of and why? Can we just get rid of the negative because we don't like it? No, cannot do that. Hmm, so what do we do next? Well, the idea is that, let's see how did we end up with zero here. We got this zero because earlier we had sine of 360 degrees, and that's because 5 times 72 degrees. Now, 5 times what else will also give us an angle so that the sine value is equal to zero. We know sine of 180 degrees is equal to zero, right? Huh, okay, let's have a look. Yeah, let me just write down a note for you. If we have sine of 180, but do 180 divided by 5, which is 36. 5 times 36 degrees, this will also give us 0. So the truth is, if earlier we said theta to be 36, we will still end up with the same exact equation. And of course, you will have the answer right here. So the truth is, one of this right here is for sine of 36, and the other one is for sine of 37. No, just kidding, sine of 72. But which one? Okay, here's the deal. 36 degrees, let's look at this picture. So imagine we're on a unit circle, all right? So 36 degrees will be somewhere right here. And it will also have the positive y value, but you can see that the y value is shorter than this right here. Therefore, this right here, the bigger value will be for sine of 72, and the smaller value will be for sine of 36. And of course, by this picture, we can see that sine of 36 degrees is less than sine of 72 degrees. So, when we subtract, of course, you get a smaller value. So, in fact, we also got sine of 76, which is 5, square root of 5, over 8. And the other one is square root of 5, and then plus square root of 5 over 8. So there you have it. Sine of 72 degrees is equal to this right here. So what do you guys think? And if you like math, if you want to just kind of really understand what's going on with all the math, then I would like to tell you our sponsor today, Brilliant.Work. Brilliant is an online learning platform that helps you to excel in math and science. Their goal is to provide the most effective way for you to learn. I really like Brilliant not only because they got thousands of interactive lessons ranging from basic algebra to advanced math, but also each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you test out the concepts along the way. As a math teacher for over 10 years, I always advise my students that you need to be constantly learning and practicing in order to reach your goal. Now you can try Brilliant for free for 30 days. Use the link in the description, brilliant.org/blackandredpen. So now you can also get 20% off discount for the annual premium subscription. And I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And I also want to thank you guys for checking them out.